Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. This Christmas, Carla and Peter Barlow decide to part ways and Coronation Street shows moments that change their lives. Chris Cascoyne, who plays Peter in the ITV soap opera, has opted to leave the show, which has caused the popular marriage to fall apart. Carla decides to take matters into her own hands on Christmas Day and pushes Peter to leave Weatherfield so he may start over without her. This leads up to a special Boxing Day show where Peter steps down after having a heart-to-heart -heart with his wife. Here, Carla's actor Allison King divulges information about the main holiday story. They're not quite right. Concerned about Peter is Carla. It's clear that he has been experiencing mental health issues since the accident. Carla has been busy and has been focusing a lot on the factory at the same time. Carla has seen a melancholy in Peter that, for once, she is unable to contain. They are having a small argument. Sometimes, when Peter is going through something, he can be very irrational and tells her in an irrational way that she ignores him and doesn't care about what he wants. She's trying to juggle so many balls and put her life back together after the money's gone. So when Peter says it's all about what she wants, it dumbfounds her. It appears like they are not effectively communicating. It was a huge turning point indeed, since even though Peter acted impulsively, I believe she questioned his intentions and the reasons behind his decision to not stop the automobile as well as his actual actions at that precise moment. They didn't, in my opinion, discuss it sufficiently or correctly. They didn't tell each other the whole truth. Actually, based on all the witnesses reported, Peter thought he had saved Jenny's life. Carla was aware of Peter's anger against Stephen, and when he felt that she could be having some doubts about him, it hurt him deeply. She wasn't really on his side, in his opinion. To me, it has always been a little bit of both. They've always known how to handle each other's demons, and it's kind of worked with their drinking and everything else. However, I believe it's starting to become a minor problem. Carla isn't sure if she wants to follow Peter's lead. He has another desire, but it is to do it with her. She can't, in my opinion. I believe that she is probably experiencing this for the first time, and it is startling her. Carla can't be Peter's everything for the first time. I believe she's probably realizing for the first time that she can't be his life preserver. I believe that despite everything she has been through, she is still quite strong and has a deeper understanding of who she is. In terms of assistance, it has worked well for them in the past. However, we've seen that it can be really harmful when they're both at their worst. Perhaps this is the first time Carla has recognized that she won't be able to do that in the future. She has to be content since she can support herself on her own. Peter begins receiving notes and postcards from his boatmate, urging him to come and join him. Carla begins to realize how giddy he is. For the first time in a long time, something has distracted him from what has been happening. Naturally, Carla declines Peter's invitation to go since she needs to focus on getting the factory back up and running. Peter, I believe, is the one who realizes that she is fighting for the company and that their goals are not the same. Carla is beginning to realize she cannot. She is content to continue on her own and begins to feel depressed. Carla has a slowly sinking feeling that perhaps it's time for them to go on and pursue their own interests. We had that, and it was wonderful. But maybe that is over. She is beginning to feel that Peter ought to stay with her and is unaware that he is speaking to Tim. Peter feels let down again, but in a more resigned way this time. They realize they need to talk, and Carla has brought in the food for their date night. However, the alarm goes off at the plant, and she has to take care of it. Carla believes Peter should be able to understand that this is only temporary while she works things out since she feels like she is being pushed in two directions and cannot be in two places at once. He used to accept it, but these days he's got his own problems. Yes, I believe Carla is beginning to realize that. She's becoming anxious now. She discusses it with Sarah, informing her that this time there's a difference and she's not sure whether they can resolve it. She is unsure of her ability to muster the strength to see him through this, which is the reason. 
I believe she's in awe. She realizes it's a huge thing for him to do, so I think she's really happy that he's taken the initiative and gotten in touch with her. I believe Carla is surprised by the timing, but she also understands that Peter is doing it to force him to stay on the wagon. When she finds out, she is happy, supportive, and proud of herself. You know, do you want me to go? Carla asks. Carla is taken aback when Peter suggests that it could be pleasant. However, I believe that because she is around, Peter finds it difficult to tell the truth because he doesn't want her to witness all of his frailties. Peter begins by assuring everyone that everything will be all right and that Christmas will be fun. In front of everyone, he's making a token effort to shield her. But Carla calls him out on lying since she knows he is not being honest because she has seen the change and the grief in him. Peter's admission that he feels that he is not living a life is heartbreaking. It definitely confirms to her what she has been thinking. He doesn't feel like he is living life to the fullest and that she is enough, even with her by his side. Carla is devastated by that, but she soon begins to consider other options, puts Peter first, and considers what she should do. She needs him to want to take responsibility for it, be honest with her, and consider what's best for him alone. I believe she will have to make a decision. Although living aboard a yacht seems amazing and liberating, she is not the type to do that. Though Peter wants to accomplish that, that is not how she views her life. Carla is aware that there's a good probability Peter will continue doing that for a year, just like he has in the past. But she needs to see the wider picture because doing so might require her to toss everything away. What would be here waiting for her if she left and returned Peter's roots and family are here. They would remain even if the firm closed and she had nothing left. It goes without saying that Carla will feel pressure to decide and go on with her life. Essent that an old proverb, you should let go of someone you love. That genuinely applies to them both. For two days, we worked closely together to film. There was plenty to discover. Apart than that, though, it was fantastic. I didn't need a tear stick during those times because it was so emotional. I genuinely broke down in tears at different points in every scenario, so there was no way of knowing what would happen each time we did it. Chris is incredibly skilled at the Meissner technique, which requires actors to respond to one other's performances and behaviors. I would get upset if he were to adopt a new appearance. Because of this, I have really enjoyed working with him. It's all about the response. Every take allows us to do things a thousand different ways. It was simply a different path, and you're just exhausted. It's such an emotional roller coaster, and he's so great every single time. Although it doesn't cover every element of their past, it does provide insight into their dynamic as a pair. People seem to like just talking with them, so it was really good to have that much time with them. It was a true trip and something we really had to sink our teeth into full with emotions. It was such a pleasure to work on those scenes. Their chemistry is simply amazing, and ours is too. It just works because we have mutual trust. They understand each other so well that they can get through anything together, including the most difficult times. I believe that the audience can see how much they have grown together. They just make sense together because of their chemistry and the fact that they are both incredibly flawed individuals. That, in my opinion, is what everyone desires. Yes, Carla isn't over Peter just yet. She's still wearing her rings and isn't searching for love. But when Bobby enters the picture, it forces her to emerge from her melancholy and turn introspective. Carla is attempting to be very direct when she says, I've done this, I've made this decision, and I've assisted Peter in making this decision to leave along the way. However, she doesn't want to be among people who are cautious around her in the factory. Bobby's arrival has jolted her out of her depressive state, as he is a real handful. He enters and causes some minor chaos, and she is forced to provide for him in many ways, which puts an end to any self-indulgence. That has been incredible. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.